data paper. So today my topic is signal analysis. Signal analysis is basically signal processing which concerns the analysis, synthesis and modifications of signal which are broadly defined as function, conveying information about the behavior or attributes of some phenomenon such as sound, images and biological measurements. So as far as signal analysis is concerned, I am con concentrating on the part how a signal behaves when it is fed to a filter. So if you give a particular filter specifications and a filter redesign and the signal, if you give the signal as the input on the filter, the output of the filter, which we give the by behavior of the signal, how a signal behaves, looks like actually. So if you sort signal analysis, so for uh, you have given apps, you work in MATLAB and the signal analysis part, if you the click tab, the new window will open here. You can see a new window has opened already. So enlarge it and then here three parts are there see signals filters and spectra so today we are concentrating on signals and filters part okay so if an, if you if you can take any signals okay so here i can have taken white noise i have written a program for white noise as you can see n is equal to 100 points i have taken a is equal to minus one in slicization b is equal to one and the signal a white noise particular b is equal to rand function i have taken and plotted the signal so if you run the signal plot learn the program and the run if you run then you can see your actually white noise how it looks like varying with time and amplitude okay so now we have to fit the signal into the feed so for that we can you can access apps and their signal analysis the same thing you can the window is open and the same thing you can got by writing a speed tool in the command window if you write that the same thing will come here okay so for that we have to import the signal okay so file and import so import the signal your variables have came already the program which have run the variables of the program has came here so we will we will be selecting the v the noise function rand function okay so click v here and the data is imported here and click ok okay so the signal has already come here okay so now we will be importing the signal in the filter so we have to design a filter so click new filter and you can design any filter here by giving the specification here you can give the, all the specifications and the corresponding amplitude magnitude of the filter will be plotted here the response of the filter in db in process you can see pass band frequency stop band frequency and amplitude of the pass band and amplitude of the stop band you can see here so let's give the specification so we will we will be designing a low pass filter a fire filter in the window method let's design the filter part is a great part it has a very big applications which I'll be explaining in the theory part. Okay, so we can design a fire filter. So in the a specify order, we have to give a order. Let's keep ten, and window. Let's just take a simple window, rectangular window. And if you give the here the cutoff frequency, uh, sorry, stop band frequency eight hundred, and cutoff frequency you give as two ten. We have given two ten. So if you click the design filter, the filter will be designing, and the response of the filter, as I have said. It's come here okay so filter has designed you can see here filter one has been designed it's came in the filter so click the filter and click on the signal and then you have to apply the filter signal in the filter apply if signal two is no new signal will generate then click ok so you okay, new signal has already came here you can see so click the signal and view if you view the signal you can see how the behavior of the signal has changed by applying to the filter so this is all about how the signal behaves if we apply to the filter so this is all about. 